Yes, uh, I'm Garen. This is my beautiful wife, Annalise. Uh, we are the Patricks to Nigeria. Uh, we came to your church in 2019. Uh, you, I think, were the third of the fourth church we went to on deputation. So you guys kind of helped start our, our trail off in raising support to get to where we're at. And now we're, we've been in Nigeria for a year. That's awesome. Now, if I remember correctly, Annalise, are you from Southern California? What part? Yes. Um, Murrieta, Temecula. That's awesome. That's awesome. Not too far from here. Now, tell us a little bit about Nigeria. Yes, uh, it is very African. Uh, no, it's 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 uh, it's a different world. A very different world. Very very populated. Uh, it's the most populated country in in Africa. About two hundred twenty million people. Um, and, uh, just, they, they speak English. Almost everybody here speaks English. So that's, that's a, a help for us, but, uh, just a very different culture, very aggressive culture. Uh, just, they, they have just a different mindset. They, they think very differently, uh, just with their finances, with the way that they live, just the way that they think it's just a very different, uh, kind of a, a culture and we're, we're adapting to it. No, that's great. Now, do you have any modern conveniences there? Yes, Cold Stone, praise God. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, yes, and we have Domino's and Pizza Hut. We have a frozen yogurt place as well. Um, but the main thing is Cold Stone. So we are very thankful. <laughs> for that. That's what keeps us on the field. That's right. That's right. Well, can you give us an update on the field? How's everything going there? Anything new and special? Uh, yes. Uh, so like I said, we've been here on the 11th. It'll be our, our one year anniversary. Um, and so uh, we've been we've been able to settle in. I, I we serve at a church in the capital city of Abuja uh, under a veteran mission, veteran missionary there. Uh, I serve as the youth pastor, uh, an assistant pastor in the church. Uh, I do a lot of the, the preaching. We we do Bible club in a village. Uh, we do school ministry. Uh, and one of the, the newest things we've we've started is we started a, a uh, Bible study in an area about 35, 40 minutes outside of the capital city. It's called Lug Bay. If you can be praying for Lug Bay, uh, we started a Bible study there and we're praying that God will, will use this and grow this Bible study into uh, the core of a church plant. And so we're praying that, we'll, that God will turn this into a church plant. And we're excited about that. We feel that this is where God is leading us to start uh, a church. That is so awesome. That's so awesome. So how can we pray for you guys as you continue to serve the Lord there uh, in, in the country where God's placed you? Uh, if you could just pray that God would uh, grow this Bible study, that God would give us um, stability and safety in the country. We actually just got out of a kind of a, a scare recently as um, there's there's a very, very large um, um, terrorist group called Boko Haram. Basically, think of ISIS, just Africa's version of ISIS. Uh, there was a big threat that they were going to penetrate into the capital city um, last last weekend. And nothing big happened. There were some, some attacks a little bit outside of the city, but um, nothing really big happened uh, during the weekend. So we we're thankful for that. But that can happen at any time. So just pray for safety and stability so that we can stay in the country. Um, and then also um, we're gonna be needing, you know, sound equipment and things like that for the new church plant. So if you can just pray that God will provide for that uh, as, the, as the time approaches. We will definitely be praying for that. And I, it's so good to see you guys. It's been a while now. I know when I was uh, at our church there in Lacey, do you remember what year you guys came through? Was it 2019? No, it was uh, it was post COVID, so it was uh, twenty twenty. Yeah, it was twenty twenty. Wow! And I distinctly remember us doing a basketball game. Who won? Uh, I think you remember very well who won. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a okay, minute, just so everybody has context. How tall are you, Gary? Uh, I'm six three and a half. I'm not. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a great time. Well, Garrett, I don't know if you can see Caleb next to me. But uh, you guys remember yes. the Bible college days, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to my boy. How are you doing, Caleb? I'm doing well. It's great to see you all doing well. And uh, it's good to see you. You too. I've seen you since Canada School. 
Amen. I'll never forget your Yanni Yesu video. Oh, they're getting ready to see it here in a minute, so don't spoil it too much. Oh, just kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I remember correctly, and you know my back a little bit, Republic of Congo is not two countries over from Nigeria, correct? It's a few over in South. Just it's a few over, and everything. And it's it's Republic of Congo kind of similar to Nigeria. Uh, I think it's very different because it's a French colonized country, and so the culture is very French instead of English colonized, and so the language is different, the culture is very different. I think it probably looks similar, but the culture is completely different. That's awesome. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Garen and Elise, we're so thankful for you guys. We pray for you guys. We're blessed to be a part of the ministry and how God's using you there. Any last words you want to give us before we let you go? Yeah, just a few things real quick. I'm a preacher, but I'm going to try to keep it short. Right, uh, no, I, I just wanted to say, I'm not going to preach, trust me. Um, I just want to say, uh, Hillcrest, uh, we love you guys. We thank you so much uh, for helping us start our journey and for helping sustain us while, we, while we're here. Uh, we're thankful for you, Pastor uh, Miles uh, and Miss Riza. Thank you so much for, for coming there. And we're excited about um, you guys being there. We've been following the church and following you guys on uh, on Facebook and on, on YouTube and Pastor Nathan, we just are very thankful for you and just your faithfulness. Uh, I remember when we were living in, in the LA area and we would uh, see you all the time and, and it's just a blessing to see you just faithfully serving. So thank you for that. Caleb, if you ever want to come to a developed city where you can get some cold stones and dominoes, come on over to Abuja, Nigeria. We'd love to have you. <laughs> thank you guys so much. We'll be praying for you guys. It's good to see you and uh, we'll, we'll hopefully talk soon. Yes, sir. Thank you. Bye.